my name is uh, Mile Kjakic uh, and uh, I have a, such a pleasure to uh, talk to Maya Walk and I'm so excited that uh, she's coming uh, to visit us uh, here in Toronto. Please tell us uh, uh, what can we uh, get when, when you uh, get here. <laughs> Well, you will get me 100 percent, that's for sure. And uh, I'm, I'm very, very excited to come um, again for the second time to Toronto to this Total Health Show, because the last time I felt at home. Finally, I didn't feel like a weirdo, and I felt like, oh, there are some other people that they are open-minded and they think in advance like me, and I felt beautiful. So I'm very, very happy to come back. And this time I, I, I thought not just to talk about the raw food and the benefits of eating for the for good diet for the for the health, but about the total health because it's called the Total Health Show. So I'm going to talk, uh, talk about the total health program that I have, and that means uh, uh, work on the feelings, work on the physical body, and work on the fuel, and that's, that's the, the, the food we eat. So, so I'm going to mix all three things because usually people are concentrating only on one thing and these new psychologists, they do one thing and the other and dietists, they do the diet. But I think that all together is important and, and, and rely on each other. So this is what I'm, mainly what I'm going to present in, in, uh, on the Total Health Show. Uh, fantastic. That would be a holistic priest. Uh, uh holistic holistic uh, exactly exactly we must take up approach to, to yeah just, exactly exactly yeah we're yeah. not parts we're not little single parts we're not mechanical beings so everything in us is intertwined the feelings are affecting every organ and uh, and the soul is not something outside of us or something in in the, in the brain uh, it is actually the life that goes to every cell so if you want to keep your soul nice you have to keep the house for the soul very nice as well so it's talking about cleansing about uh, getting the oxygen just the way we do in our house you know when you put when you put everything when you put everything on yeah well my nikos who is next to me he says that the house of the soul is nature wow so going back to the natural natural way of living yeah amazing uh, so uh Basically, you're telling us that uh, uh, cleaning or uh, detox of our feelings is very important as uh, everything oh, else, exactly, or, or, or more exactly. important, or much more important than. I, I th well, my experience is that it's really almost almost eighty ninety percent of the year, because if if your feelings are are so to say optimistic and good and cleansed and then uh, fine, if you worked on your traumas and if you resolved a lot of stuff in you. Then, then you can move on. Otherwise, it's clogged. Everything's clogged in you, and you're just putting things inside. And then your body reacts to it. This, this is true. I've been watching my uh, my students in Belgrade and how enthusiastic they are in the first year. They appear in October. They're happy. They're healthy. Everything fine, fine, fine. And then when April comes, when the the first exams appear, they all come very sick. They have flus. They are, you know, and this is not from the outside. They are allergic to the university, and nobody wants to tell them that. <laughs> so actually, actually, we are allergic to some people and to some institutions and to some things, you know, that that we that not just to the food and uh, uh, poison is everywhere. Poison for the soul and poison for the body. So it, it, there is not uh, a line, and there's not, um, so to say, strict rules. What I do actually, I give people pencils. But what they write is their own. So I just give you a pencil and then you can write whatever you want to. Beautiful. Basically, you're telling us that 80% uh, uh, is psychology and 20% uh, percent, uh, biology. But once yes. you change the biology, that uh, peripetu oh, mobile yes. happens. Correct? That, that, that's the great thing. Because actually the neurons in the brain are fed well. And then you produce good ideas. So you see, everything is connected. But... Um, so this is why I started with the, with the food first, because if I started with the psychology, I think nobody would have listened to me. And <laughs> so being a professor, being a professor of dramaturgy, I thought, okay, we'll go with little steps. We'll talk first about changing the fuel, then we move to the 
changing the parts and then and then we talk about the drunken driver <laughs> amazing yeah it's easy approach uh, first uh, you know talking about the food and uh, yeah it, it goes a step further beautiful Yes, yes. Maya, tell, tell me so what how... Else, what else do you have for me, Mila? Oh, so many good things. You're going to be surprised when you come here. So, uh, please t- uh, tell us uh, uh, how we can stop uh, eating emotionally. Ah, uh, well, it, it takes some kind of, not just self-discipline, but there are some basic techniques with breathing, with calming, with, with, with dealing with your own neurosis, actually. Mm-hmm. And uh, it started in the 80s. Uh, and when the, when all these bursts of new of new psychology appeared, uh, especially in California, but then then it, it 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 became so many schools that I think today people are almost lost and they're going from one to another, to, trying to find the answer outside. The answer is always inside, of course. Mm-hmm. And uh, and it is when you take the responsibility for your life, responsibility for your illnesses, and responsibility for your health. So it's not something that will be solved on its own. You first must say, my life wasn't good because of this, this, and this, and then let's do the complete change of everything. You don't know where is the reason. You don't know where, where to start. That's why you start from the beginning, you know, from, mm-hmm. as always from your childhood. You're basically uh, saying that uh, we have to uh, give ourselves uh, to, to ourselves first. Or to, yes, se- to sell yes. ourselves and then to... to learn, mm-hmm. And then to learn, which I think is the hardest thing, to learn to love ourselves. Because we are taught to, to do good things to the others, and that it's very selfish and egoistic to love yourself. But I'm not talking about this selfish, egoistic Point of love view. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. for yourself. I'm talking about taking care of yourself. Amazing. And, and, and you, you said correctly at the beginning... You know, and if you mm-hmm. maintain... And if you maintain every day, you know, the goodness and the beauty, which is the essence of our souls, then then you're on a good way. Then a little steps. It cannot be changed overnight, of course. Amazing. But it is a process for whole life. And I think it's the, the, the largest, pro, pro, largest project in my life. And uh, it really it surpasses all the other projects, which are one year, two years, five years. This one is for the next 50 years, at least. At least in my case. <laughs> mm-hmm, definitely. So basically, t- taking a responsibility uh, is a, is yes. a, about our lives yes. is a, is a key thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's so, a, if, yeah, for instance, 100%. if you like in my country, lots of people still smoke and they think that they're enjoying themselves, and they don't tell themselves that they are drug addicts, technically and poisoning. So you know, this is the first step. Like in Alcoholic Anonymous, to say loud. I am addicted to sugar, to this, to this, to this, and let's do something about it. Exactly. So there are two types not of to find, uh, not to, addicts. Not to find covers and excuses, because we always do this. Mm-hmm. Yes, but. Yes, but. No, but. You know, there is no excuse. This is your <laughs> choice. You have to be responsible. You made this choice. Nobody put the gun on your head and say, smoke the cigarette. So there are two types of addicts, uh, recovery addict and uh, active addict, uh, the majority of us uh, in this uh, second yes, group. There, there, there is also positive addiction, for instance, to the exercise. When the, and there is, a, um, they say, about 21 days is needed, three weeks to put it to, to make new habits. So if you start with a new style of life, with new habits, Give it three weeks, and then after after that, you can rely on your own body, and so they will ask for it. So if you skip something, then your body will be nervous and say, "I wanna, I want exercise. I want this. I want this." And when you listen to yourself, then it's okay. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, could you tell us what what to, uh, would be the the best uh, uh, scientific uh, breakthroughs? Uh, uh, in, the, in this period, uh, when you uh, last time you visited Canada. Oh, what, what what did I learn new? I think that was even more important. I learned a lot of stuff in the meantime. I learned lots about uh, some supplements that I never thought very serious about. But I, I'm saying not supplements, I'm talking about the, the, the plants. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some extra plants that are helping us to heal ourselves. And uh, also, I learned about autophagia, autophagy, 
and uh, and I started to I, I did some experiments in starving in fasting that I never did before and I feel great absolutely amazing and this is something that I'm introducing in in um, back in Serbia to my weekends of health and um, and uh, uh, speaking about that, this, I'm very excited to make our first weekends of health in, back in, 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 in Canada, in Toronto. And there we should do a lot of stuff like uh, standing yoga, like uh, uh, Dr. Bates exercises for eyes, then the special astronautic uh, uh, exercises for the back that I learned from some Russians, and uh, from Larissa Fotina to be, to be precise. And uh, of course, raw food all the time. And we're introducing this alpha fudge that means no eating after four o'clock in the afternoon. And the guy who got who, who exposed it actually he got the Nobel Prize for medicine last year. So it is very new, very very interesting, and it's all over the internet now. Everybody is starting to do this uh, temporarily fasting, and uh, and this is I think a, a real breakthrough. And um, so this is basically the, the most important thing in, in these two, three years that I, that I learned about starving and not eating and being well. <laughs> <laughs> so in this case, it looks like uh, less is more. Yes. Well, you see, they asked that these old Japanese women, you know, in Japan, they have many hundred years old. People are no obesity because the food is very, very expensive in Japan. They, leave, they eat little portions. So they asked one of these 110 ladies, you know, what do you eat? And she says, well, this and that, mainly nothing. <laughs> I think this is, this is the path we're going on, you know. I think if we started with vegetarian, then you, no, no, no. First was macrobiotic, then you were vegetarian, then vegan, then raw. Then I think uh, this uh, fasting and breatharian, you don't eat anything and you live from, <laughs> from air and stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit joking, but uh, actually we naturally slow down with eating when we grow old and, and old people eat less. We all know this. And, and it's uh, all, all back to, to this... Mm -hmm. And when you look in the nature, you know, what will Antelope do if, she was, if, 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 uh, if the animals were fed all the time? Then the lions would eat them and then nothing would be in dynamics and moving if, 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 if the animals were were, were uh, fed all the time. So in nature, everybody's half hungry. And I think this is the, <laughs> that's the yeah. thing. We are eating, we're overeating. We're eating nonstop, 24 hours a day. Oh, obsessed with this. And, and half of the civil population of Earth is starving. So, you know, we have to think about that as well. Definitely. Uh, all, uh, it is, uh, it is uh, all... Uh, what they say back to uh, square one it's about uh, uh, emotional stability correct uh -huh. yes 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 mm -hmm. yes it all goes to that when well listen mila when we're in love we're not hungry that this yeah. is it if we if we love what <laughs> we do when, if we, if we love we ourselves and horrible then we go and eat 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 eat, eat, eat as a consolation mm -hmm. so it, it also has to do with this emotional stability when you're emotionally stable you don't need all this rubbish and um, and bad food and poisons and stimuli and all this stuff that we uh, take to make ourselves uh, more gay and more more um, more uh, happy you know you don't need this happiness is really inside once you once you get once you get to know your yourself <laughs> mm -hmm. exactly so we are just and looking embrace, forward and embrace and embrace and love yourself yeah, <laughs> the way you are Exactly. Just to accept uh, ourselves as, as we are. The way we are, yeah. The way we are. That's yeah, correct. Correctly said. So we are, we are just looking forward to seeing you uh, and uh, uh, thank you, Maya. Thank you oh, so thank much. You, yeah. Yeah. For... Yes, and I'm gonna sing as well. You know, musical therapy is also very important. So I will drink some music as well. And uh, music and, and love uh, and Mu smile and smile. Without a smile, you know, uh, there is no sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to uh, Tesla Radio and uh, see you soon. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, Mila. See you soon.